Hello, and welcome back to One Shot. In the Glen this time, we've gone all the way from the Barrens to the Glen very rapidly in terms of gameplay. I don't actually think you need to do anything in the Barrens. I'm kind of curious about testing that too, right? Because we don't need to do anything. Just wake up, talk to the Prophet, and then go to uh, Silver, talk to her, go to the mine, and then get the cutscene. And then right away, you can just solve the puzzle and go in the minecart, right? So you don't have to do a single thing. You don't have to get the gas mask. You don't have to open the safe. You don't have to fix the generator. None of that, unless I'm mistaken. But what we did have a lot of is dialogue and exposition. Holy crap. Let's see if today is going to be as wordy and reedy as last time. So far, Solstice hasn't really been much gameplay. It's just a lot of story and things going wrong. Rest in peace, Silver. Unless we can somehow save everyone. But yeah, let's continue exploring the Glen. And yeah, of course, as, as you could see, there was no dream. No dreams in Solstice, and if I... Yeah, if I check the bed again, you can just sleep. There is no restrictions. So I'm kind of thinking maybe this will not count for uh, the one-shot achievement if you beat it in Solstice mode, because it's kind of cheating. Like, there's no restrictions, so you don't actually have to commit to anything. I can just go back and sleep after every recording session. But I don't know, we'll see. So, we have only one way to go, and that is in here. Checking in with this robot. Oh, I can just ignore him completely. He doesn't care about the, uh, the gatekeeper at all. There's squares all over the big robot. Ah, that is outside my capacity for help. You may proceed to the deeper ruins. All right. The deeper ruins are ahead. Do note that they are partially flooded. Okay. And if we just check in with the gatekeeper again now, probably the same as before. Yeah, do not approach. Close until further notice. That's correct. And we have just stuff. We have the crowbar. Yeah, I guess you can kind of like keep some interesting stuff. We could have taken the... Uh, Gotten like the bottle of acid and then just left with that and just had a bottle of acid. Not that that'll be important or useful in any way, but kind of neat. So wait, can we just go and check in with the... Oh yeah, there are no vines here now. Huh, are we still gonna find a Lula? I just really want to go and check. Oh, what was that? Did you see that? Or was that just a recording thing, or like OBS preview thing? It, it seemed like, aha, I get it. It seemed like I slowed down for a step or two. But yeah, we cannot go in to the computer. These squares are just everywhere. Can't get in, so... I guess, huh. It's kind of interesting that we even could talk to the Entity. No, I guess that makes sense. Yeah, we could talk to the Entity in the Barrens because we were technically not actually in Solstice yet. So the Entity was playing along and being all happy and all that stuff. So I guess that's that. So we can go in here. No, we can't. It's blocked off. Oh boy. More of those squares. Rest in peace, Alula, I guess. Oh, jeez. I guess it's gonna be quite restrictive with where you can go and what you can do. Squares again. But will we be able to check in with Maze at least? So wait, is this not blocked? Hello, person. Two children reside near here. Ah, it is blocked. The pathway is blocked by blocks. Wait a minute. She knows how to just like move it. 
I remember something about this. Never knew it'd be so easy. Ow, my foot, ow! But we did it! We can proceed. Does that mean we can't go to Maze? No, we can, at least for now, but I bet she's gonna be all, like, squared up. Or just already dead. Oh god. S savior You're here to see me? What happened to you? Hold on. I need to concentrate. Ah! Exclamations! The islands will collapse if I don't do something. That's why the vines... You're making the vines grow. Is that why there are vines everywhere? Oh, I see, yeah, the islands are breaking apart, so she's, like, growing vines to try and, like, pull them together again. Or keep them together. Are you trying to hold the land together? I just said that. My power's the best I could do. Yes. That's... Should I leave the sun here for you? I know you wanted to see it. Tempting, but I mustn't. The sun brings me comfort, but stress is good for this. Fear is good. Makes me strong. Vines grow faster. But if I'm at ease, the vines might retreat. Ah, that makes sense, because yeah, that's what happened last time. We made the vines retreat by giving her some peace. They're all in danger, savior. The villagers, the children, my final hours mustn't go to waste. The people deserve to live, even if just for another day. Goodbye, Mace. Do not worry. I am fine. You don't look so fine. Hey, take this. Too bad we don't have the bottle of acid to pour on her. Smash her. Nope. Guess that's kind of it. Alright, you take care now, Mace. So I guess that was an optional cutscene. We didn't need to come in here and talk to her. But are we gonna see Calamus or Alula here? Ah, we are. They... Huh. So Alula is fine. That's odd. Oh, the door. I knew we'd lose our home eventually, but I wasn't expecting it to happen so soon. Oh, jeez. Are you guys okay? Oh, my stars. You're the savior. Exclamations. Um, uh, it's an honor to meet you. Yes, I'd invite you inside, but as you can see, our home is... It's got squares in it! Yes, Alula, thank you. It's getting everywhere now, isn't it? Hmm? The squares. There are way more than before. Even the gate to the refuge is destroyed now. That didn't happen last time. What the fuck are you talking about, Nico? Last time? Uh... Nothing. Almost let that slip, Schlag. Yeah, that's, that was kind of bad. Guess I should introduce myself again. Come on, Nico. My name is Nico. Nico? Oh gosh, would it not be rude to call you by name? No worries, Calamus. What the hell are you doing, Nico? Are you really this, like, oblivious? How did you know my name? I, um, uh... I am the savior. I know everything. Not again. The Messiah just knows these things, Calamus. Right? Y yes of course Phew. Ah, you were saying about the gate? Oh, right. Looks like I can't get into the city, or get in the city through the old gate anymore. Do either of you know another way to get in? I remember... I mean, I heard that there's some sort of hidden passage around here somewhere. 
Oh, the passage to the burial grounds. I fucking called it. That's the one. Oh, but I'm not sure if that'll be of any use here. It's been flooded for a long time and there's no boat. Not to mention the burial grounds itself is pretty far from the city. That's okay, I would still like to see it. It's the only lead we have. All right, in that case, please follow us. Are they gonna like hold me one in each hand and then like fly together across the, the water? The squares are blocking the doorway. And we're just out here with our old laundry. Oh, I should probably take these in soon. Wait, we can't get back into our house. Yep. No point taking in your clothing. It's a ball. That's mine. It doesn't bounce around as much as it used to, though. Yeah, that's the same. Fish, fish. All right, well, let's talk to them, I suppose. We usually get to the burial grounds through our friend, but... He hasn't been here in forever. Normally this courtyard would be where we meet up. I hope he comes back soon. And that's it. And Calamus. At least the courtyard is unaffected for now. And that's simple enough. And here we go. Aha! A clover! It's a clover! Journal? Nope, not yet anyway. Another vision, perhaps? Aha! It is another vision! Nico! Nico, what's wrong? You looked like you were about to faint. It's not the first time it's happened. Oh? Earlier I was in the Barrens and I saw something like this too. It was like a dream, but only for a split second. Sounds like a vision. Like something a prophet would see. I guess? The robot lady I was with earlier had a fancy word for it though. Wait. Let me check something. Journal is glowing. Of course. So it is like you have to match more screens. All right, makes sense. Oh, I was right. Huh? When I had the vision back at the Barrens, the book started glowing too. I wanted to see if I could get it to happen again and... Where did you get that? Oh, uh, I had it with me when I woke up in this world. It looks like one of our friend's books, except it's glowy. That's what the lady said too. Hmm. Shalag, let's see if we can do anything with a journal in this room. Yep, of course. Now we can check it, it's glowing now. Let's talk. I wonder when our friend will come back. I wonder how long this passage is. Looks like there's some lights at the end. Those are fireflies. Don't you know? Haven't you been across? Wait, what did you say? This passage must be where the fi where fireflies congregate. And if we just leave? Oh no. If I leave, is it gonna be the same thing as with uh, Silver? Where they'll just be gone and then they won't believe that it appeared? I'm not gonna leave. I'm not gonna do it this time, but that is something that is that might be worth trying at some point. So first off, let's just like go all the way over here, just like in a weird spot right here, just so I can for sure get the wrong one first, just to confirm and like check what it actually looks like. Yep, okay, makes sense. It's gonna be like a raft. And you have to stand here, of course. Simple enough. I honestly don't even really think you need the clover as like a, oh, stand here thing. I think it would be fun to do the uh, line it up perfectly with the world if there was just a bit more clarification that that was what you were trying to do or that 
there was even a puzzle that you had the ability to solve at the current moment in time to begin with. Like, with the first one especially, because that was my issue with it, like, what you had to do was perfectly fine, but I just didn't even realize that I had the ability to solve a puzzle or that there was a puzzle in the first place. Whoa! How did that boat get there? Okay, I'm pretty sure it has to do with this journal now. The exact same thing happened back at the Barrens. Seriously? The journal was glowing, so I wanted to take a closer look at it. Then, I found a page that looked like a drawing of the room we were in. And then... A minecart showed up! What? What? That sounds freaky! No, it doesn't! Shalag must have done something! Still... Hey, we have a boat now! We can go to the burial grounds and visit Mom again! But... Come on, Calamus! Nico and Shalag are with us. Well, if Shalag made the boat appear, it should be safe. What do you think, Shalag? Okay, I get a choice. Can we go yet? Can we go yet? We can leave whenever you're ready. What happens if I don't want to leave then? Like, is this actually a choice? Oh boy, we have to try it. Come on. To see. Yeah, they're not here. And now they don't reply. Alright. Quick check back with Maze, I suppose. Just see if she says anything new. No. Okay, never mind. Yeah, they're still here. We can leave. Alright. Guess we're doing it. Here we go! Nice fade out. Oh, I can travel. Do you want to go back, Nico? Nah. I I do want to go back. Great. Oh, another like cutscene kind of thing. Lots of new art and music for Solstice mode. That's kind of neat. And you actually get to see like Alula and Calamus in detail now. Well, this is pretty uplifting so far. More so than last time. In before squares everywhere, I suppose. And then we just go back. Okay. Of course. And here we go. We made it! Come on, Alula. Let's go pay our respects. Okay! And they just fade from existence. But I can go back on my own now! And if I do... There's no one to tell me to not go back! Oh! I actually can! Huh. Well, I guess in that case, I don't want to. I mean, there's not really anything to do over there. Can I fast travel from here? I can! Graveyard! The gate! Yeah? Too bad you can't fast travel to Maze. That would be useful. Alright. It's a gravestone. 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 Oh boy. It's a gravestone. It's a gravestone. It's a gravestone. Yep. Yep. And if we check, like, the clover... No, we can't. They're not special enough. Gravestone, 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 gravestone. Gravestone. Aha! That's the guy I saw in my vision. But let's wait with that. I wanna pay my respects as well, first. Gravestone, gravestone, gravestone. Gravestone, gravestone, gravestone. Yep. 
Just a bunch of gravestones. Except maybe this one. Right here. It's a gravestone. Nope. A moment of silence, please. And now we interrupt them. This is her grave. Ah. It's been years, but... It's still hard, you know? Sigh. Alula, wanna help me look for some flowers for mom later? Yes! Okay. At least I still got my sister. Mom, you're not gonna believe what happened today when we met the Messiah! Hi, Nico. Hi. I hope she can see us wherever she is. Okay. That's it. Pretty... pretty simple. And now we go meet... that guy. Should I do that today? I guess I can kind of just cut it off whenever. So let's keep going for a little bit. It's you! Exclamation mark! You, um... My name is Nico. Ah. N nice finally to meet you. No, wait. It is a pleasure to be of acquaintance at last, Nico. My name is Cedric. Oh! I'm supposed to be looking for you, too. I am aware. Prototype had contacted me earlier, saying that you would be on your way to the city. He did? He sent a message after his memories were restored. Oh. He told me to wait in the city, but I thought it'd be faster for me to pick you guys up. Turns out, that was a terrible idea. Pick us up? Wait, you can fly that plane? What, what do you mean that plane? What is a plane? That thing behind you. Oh. Oh, you mean the flying machine. They're called planes in my world. Oh. I did not realize they existed in other worlds. Wait, are you the friend that Calamus and Alula was talking about then? He's not. Is this the same flying machine they were talking about? I do not know anyone named Calamus or Alula. I think they're meant to be friends with my father. Oh, I see. In previous iterations of the... Your father? He was the original owner of the flying machine. It's one of his greatest inventions, actually. Your dad invented planes? No, he just, like, ripped them off from his own world, got them to this world, and everyone's like, you're a genius! And really, he just ripped off other, better inventors of our time. I'm onto this phony author guy. Flying machine. It's cool either way! Thanks. But to answer your earlier question, I am proficient in operating the machine. But something weird happened to the engine when I was in the air earlier. I had to make an emergency landing on this tiny island before I crashed into the city wall. You almost crashed? That's terrible. It was not pleasant, I will admit. I wonder if the engine problem has to do with the square particle disruptions. I checked, but... There isn't any of that square stuff inside the machine itself. But I noticed some islands in the Glen are really messed up now. They are... Sigh. Lots of people sighing all the time. Guess I should have listened to Proto in the first place. Say, where is he? He said he was coming with you. Is he still back at the main islands? Oh... Actually... Back at the Barrens, he... There was a cave-in, and then a bunch of squares. He... and the robot lady... Neither of them made it out. No! He did give me this, though. This disc he pulled from his head. Oh! Oh, thank goodness! He gave you his main drive! As long as I have this, I should be able to bring him back! R really I knew it. It's gonna be hard, but yes. You need all three of us for the big door. Oh. The big door. Like the one that I couldn't open before? I see. 
And all three, who's the third one? The, the fox, of course, yeah. The... But first things first, we need to find a way to go to the city. Right. The city gate is kind of kaput now. If this machine was working, we could just fly right in there. I've isolated the issue with the machine, but I can't repair it with the stuff I have on hand. Oh, what's wrong with it? The battery in the engine is dead, and the engine has some gears that need to be replaced. Do you think you'll be able to fix it if Shellag and I can help you find those things? What if we just, like, made the, uh, got the, like, working battery again from the Barons and then got that with us here? That probably wouldn't work, but it's an, it's an interesting idea, I suppose. Maybe. Problem is, the Glen isn't exactly a very high-tech area. Oh, do we have to go back to the Barons? I'm not sure if you'd, you'll be able to find anything so specialized here. We'll try anyway. We can't really do anything else right now. And that's it. Alright, I think that's a pretty decent time to end it off for today. So, I guess we'll, we'll find out. Are we gonna find stuff in the Glen? Are we gonna go back to the Barrens to, like, take the battery out of the generator from there because they don't need it anymore? Everyone's dead! Or something. I mean, I assume not because it's probably all square particled up. But maybe. We'll see. For now, thanks for watching. Hope you enjoyed the episode. And I'll see you next time. Bye-bye!